so here we are. We are back after one night off. Fish returns at Walnut Creek. Thanks again to the people with the streams. Tonight's stream, the first set even had some live commentary from a chomper. Much needed, a little, little added something to this set. You know, the first set was lacking. This dude came through, gave us what we needed. They started out with that weird llama, slowed it down quite a bit. Strange, kind of cool though, nice shot. You know, Chalk Dust Torture, second song of the night, and this is where we started... Things started getting a little crazy, man. Chalk dust right off the bat. Moma dance. Yarmouth Road. Then you get an alligator mouth from tube to bouncing. You know, the whole time we're getting commentary. And then a rocking maze in the first set. Waiting all night, dude. The man explained to us why he likes that song. You know, it's got a cool bass line, dude. Yeah, yeah. A lot of fish, a lot of fish songs have cool bass lines, man. There's no reason to like waiting all night. If you want to like the song, that's fine. But that gives Trey a chance to show off a little bit. Again, then we get Lawn Boy. Paige giving a shout out to the people on the lawn. You know, I think this is when we got the excellent quote. Rager ballad, rager ballad, rager ballad. You know, this guy was all over it, dude. Devotion to a dream, though. Oh, man, he fucked himself right here. Totally exposed. He called Sing Monica about 30 seconds into Devotion to a Dream. Then I think he realized what he had done. He went silent, but he couldn't help himself during Wolfman's and Susie. You know, at one point during Susie Greenberg, I think he nearly exploded, man. Chomperitis started to spread. It is contagious. It can even be fatal. You know, I saw this one time. I believe it was during Susie at Deer Creek in 03. I saw a dude go down. He was flopping around on the ground. I knew it was a case of chomperitis. I was like, quick, somebody give me a trucker hat, two glow sticks, and do you know the lyrics to Sample in a Jar? Get over here. Held it lightly, gently raised his head, threw the trucker hat on him, started waving the glow sticks in his face, even smacked him in the neck hard a couple times. Old dude started singing Sample in a Jar, and he snapped right out of it, got him up on his feet. He was a little woozy to end the set. You know, I don't know if that's what went down tonight, but it sure sounded like that from the stream. So then that ended the first set, man. Ended it with Susie Greenberg. Place going nuts, chomperitis spreading. We get into the second set, they open up with the wedge. Golden Age, it seems like a nice start, but you know, neither one of those were monsters. Then you go into Reba, Trey getting loud in the Reba jam, all right. Then Mike's, people calling for the second jam before the first jam even started. Ghost, probably my call tonight, you know, I like that one. Although I wish they would have taken another lap in Ghost, man. It was still just needing something. Ghost started to get cool, and they pulled the plug on it, going into No Quarter. Very, very popular cover song. You know, if they're going to cover a song in the second set, Right when they're hitting the home stretch. I'll take a no quarter, man. I dig that song. Week of Paul Groove with some no quarter teases. And then you get first tube. You know, I don't know if they were just like, ah, fuck it, man. First tube, farmhouse fire. Game over. We're out. F Zappa 20. All right, dudes. I guess that pretty much covers it. Sweet. If anybody has any extra codes for this show, feel free to email them to me. I'll throw my email down there in the description or something. You know, I know they're out there. Oh, you do? You can get a copy on Napster, bro. <laughs> I know, man. I just like to, oh, you know, I like adding stuff to the official stash, man. Oh, dude, I got to hear that no quarter again. Number one single on Live Fish next week. 